Have you ever searched Google using that mic on your smartphone? Well, you may want to know that your voice is being recorded and Google has a file on that. Tech guy Samuel Burke has been looking into this potential privacy concern and some other interesting Google news. Samuel, good morning to you. Hey, Lynn, good morning. So I'm the type of person who uses voice commands to do everything on my phone, whether it's Siri or Google Now, whether I'm doing a search, who is Lynn Berry? It doesn't know that you're Lynn Smith yet. Or if I'm just writing an email even, I'll use the voice command. So I was very surprised to find out that when I'm using Google for these voice commands, it's actually keeping recordings and files of everything that I say, and you can even go back and listen to it. And I found this all out when I was taking the new Google privacy test. So if you go to myaccount.google.com, you'll find this privacy test. And kudos to Google for doing this so you can have better control over your privacy. Now, while I was there, I clicked on personal info and privacy. And then you scroll down and you look for the setting that says your voice searches and commands. There's a little blue switch right there that you can turn on or off. So if you don't want Google saving files of all of your voice recordings, turn it off. But you can also click manage your activity there. And that's where I found a list of everything that I've ever said to Google. Take a listen. One of my all time favorite TV news clips. I can't find one of these in the United States. New York Times getting married 46 years later. All right, Lynn, that's pretty mundane, but imagine if you accidentally click the button, it's recording something that you really don't want saved. Only you can access this with your password, but imagine if you get hacked and somebody can go in and listen to your voice. Google says this is also the voice assistant can get to know you better. Take that privacy test. It's really interesting to see how much Google knows about you and how much of that is public, though you can make it private. And speaking of Google, Lynn, I know you are very hot on this news that Gmail now allows all of its users to unsend email. Some users have been able to do this for a while, but now it's available for everybody. We've heard so many horror stories about people who write an email, a nasty email about somebody, and then they accidentally send it to that person. Well, they need this feature. So if you want to try this out, what you do is you just go to the settings icon in the upper right hand corner of Gmail, click that icon and then click the word settings. Then when you get to that next page, you just scroll down to where it says undo. And then it gives you this time option between five and 30 seconds seconds because you're not actually unsending an email. What Gmail is doing is delaying the email for five to 30 seconds. You have the choice of how much time. That way, when you click send, you think, oh, I didn't mean to send that or to the wrong person. You have the option of unsending that email and hopefully it will save some friendships. Though I know you're not sending any bad emails <laughs> about me to anybody. Yeah, of course not. All right, Samuel, thank you.